Hey there, this is Michael J. Emery. I'm here in the Columbia Gorge. The Columbia Gorge is just right outside of Portland, Oregon. If you ever get a chance to visit uh, Oregon, you've got to see the gorge. It's a beautiful site. Um, this morning I'd like to just talk briefly about nominalization. In our lives, every action that we experience, it's a process. And um, what's happened in the English language is we begin to break things down. And for example, um, a relationship is a process of relating to another person. Yet, often we use the term, I'm in a relationship with so-and-so, and it sets that process in stone, or it makes it concrete. And in the back of our minds, or I think even unconsciously, we begin to think about relating to another person in a way that's fixed, it's already set. We don't need to change anything. We don't have to be um, completely present or adapting to the situation as it occurs because we can count on this. And a nominalization, it tends to um, create a sense of stuckness for people. So a nominalization is a, is a switch from a process of doing something to it being done. And that loses flexibility. And what happens is we begin to respond to a situation that's been nominalized much differently than we respond to one that is still in the process of occurring. And um, most of our lives, what we can count on is change. The nominalization actually eliminates change. And change is one of the constants that we can actually depend upon, which is a, it's a counterintuitive concept or notion. And when we begin to nominalize something, we, we take out that element of change. And what we, what we could really use in a situation in order to be in uptime or in order to be completely present to what's going on, we've got to remember or to keep in mind that we are constantly changing, our environment's constantly changing. And in order to be able to respond to it, we've got to have that flexibility. The way that uh, nominalization is used in our practice is carrying a person through a set of verb tenses, going from, I have done something, following that full spectrum out to, I will do it. And what a person that experiences, you know, and you can do this yourself, you know, go through uh, the verb, I was, I was doing, or I was being, I am, I will be. And what we experience when we do this is, it's almost like a, a distance or um, a, a scope that occurs and we feel Far, far away from something that I was, and here in the present tense, it's I am, but in the future tense, it's I will be. And we've created like this scope or this spectrum that exists in the verb pro process. And anomalization just will take that verb and it'll stick it and make it something that's kind of into the past as though it's done. And we lose a lot of the motivation, we lose a lot of our ability to respond to it. It often comes up when. Um, when we talk about something like depression, and somebody says, I'm depressed, well, what does that mean? Where are you depressing yourself? And what's making you depressed? Or how do you know that you're depressed? And it's a process that, you know, somebody's taking the verb depressing, and they've, they've made it stuck, they made it fixed in the past, as though it's something that cannot change. And very, uh, very seldom do I hear somebody say that, you know, I will be depressed when that's happened that happens or you know I'm going to be depressed in the future it's always something that happens in a past tense uh, statement and the real power of this is to break somebody out of the, uh, the past tense statement and bring it into the present so that they've got more options more flexibility around this and um, this can be used in, in various challenges various situations in which something has been normalized like depression or relating to somebody in a relationship so I hope this has been insightful if you find yourself curious to experience more and see some other videos, definitely visit my website, www.michaeljamry.com. If you see the value in my coaching services, let's definitely be in touch. Be amazing.